And we're off. Around the bend they go. It's going to be Astralis taking this first corner at a sharp angle. And they're going to slow down, pumping the brakes just a little bit as they make their way towards the hut. Hit stop. Oil check. Tire change. Going about the motions. Now utility into the A side for Astralis. JW's been molly. There's nowhere to go, nowhere to hide. Crims is at the back of the boxes with a quick tap. Flusher joins him on the ramp, and that's a 2K to start Fnatic off. JW's pushed off the back of that Molotov. They may have burned him out, but they didn't hold him down as he takes down another. Magistral trade and into A, into the Berettas. Two of them, double damage, and only one man left up. It's Dupree. And now we can see why he was our guy to keep an eye on, right? 1v4. <laughs> Dupree. Oh, oh he's going to get knifed in the pistol. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you picked him. Good job. Oh. Harry Russell with all the calls. Wow, yeah. Setting a press. So it takes one round for the knife kill to come on in. How do they do it what every do they do? time? What do we do now? I mean, we're looking at M4 on Flusha. So he gets the knife kill, goes straight for the M4. How did he get there? How did I get I, here? How did I get here? No, legitimately, how did he get? Did he walk ramp? He was hell at the start of the round. I actually missed that. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. He must have walked ramp. There's no other explanation. Oh, man. Flusher is like this demonic entity. Oh, oh. tag fast down through the vents. The bomb's not with him. Oh. He does have a little trap there for JW. Speaking of the garage door gap that is outside, Golden tries to spam through the smoke. He's going to get a little bit of resistance, maybe even land one singular shot on the Majisk before they're able to cross towards Secret. Now, the thing that Astralis can do is wait, or they can go ahead and barrel down like Glaive has with this Tech-9. Breaks the control room vent, or window, I should say, and Krims lays close. He will get one, but quickly traded, and another kill onto that B-Rotator Flusher. So now Ramp is, uh, B is controlled by Astralis. Fnatic, they've cleared Lobby, but it's no surprise that it's clear. Astralis have shown everything down on B, and Fnatic might want to get out of here with guns. And, and the cool part is that Flusher got a knife kill in the first round so that he could drop an M4 over to, you know, the Astralis side. <laughs> what so a nice guy. That was a pretty good fellow right there, I have to say. He could have bought the AWP. In theory, that you know, there was a world where that would have come through. Nico did buy the open the second round of Mirage after getting four. Nico the don't play for Fnatic. No, last game, Harry. I don't know if you remember. Elf Wait, is... Nico's going to Fnatic? Those are all the rumors. I don't know if he fits in here, I guess. Like maybe. But then who do you take out? Exactly. He's the sick man in the rotation. Oh, yeah, that makes yeah, yes indeed. Mm, yes. Well, Yes, yes. Yes, of course. Well, Astralis, quick force. It's S tag in the vent, catching JW going down low. And Astralis just hit ramp and take B off the back a bit. Lovely stuff. Or rather, cross outside. Not hit ramp, but yeah. Either way, it's around for them. They're on the board, nice and early. Fnatic forcing what? back in. Are Astralis at boot camp? That's what it looked like. Ooh. Are they in the same room just then? I know, I only looked up at the last second. Keep our eye on it. I can't believe I missed it. The one thing I wanted to see, well, there's a few things I want to see in this game, but that is one of them. Okay. Weird Let's flex, see. But... The flusher holding down the ramp. He's got himself a scout. One. Bit of a tag, helped out by Golden outside. Gonna put things in the advantage of Fnatic, but literally for a second. And then Dupree is in with a double. He's pretty, pretty upset about getting knifed in round one, as you can tell, and he's taken it out on Fnatic. Ah, poor Golden. You open the door to a whole new depth of hell there in Decon. So we do see the plant come in, two alive still for Fnatic. And I think the name of the game for them is going to be Contain. Maybe they can do a little bit of damage to an exiting Astralis. Or maybe they don't want anything to do with it at all. What's JW doing? What's he, what's he doing here? He's a trickster, man. He's a trapster. He's been caught. Device. Not letting him get out. And Brolin on the roof. Oh, Brolin, man. Probably just saying in team comms, probably just like, man, told you not to knife him this early. My God, please. Please, man. Yeah, that's really going to set Astralis off. They're not about that life. Trying to go off, Harry. Oh, yeah, man. I should probably turn that off. 
I don't know why you got Trace to do your ringtone, you know? Yeah, it really is a different tone every time. Please, do mute it. All right, so device isn't at the device ringtone. is at home. Maybe we have a, a smaller one, or maybe it doesn't exist at all, and you've just put the seed of hope yeah, in my head. That sounds like something I would do. Make it up, completely fabricate it. Yeah, that sounds about right, you know. 2-1, and the full eco for Fnatic. This should be a clean sweep round for Astralis with only Brolin with weapons. He doesn't even have weapons. He has one, singular. It's the MP9 on the A site, Flush with the Bro, jewelries. What are you on about? Flush has got two weapons in his hands. Look at him. <laughs> Flush is a weapon. Wow. Oh, and look look at the vent. Look at JW, right? He's doing his signature move. He's waiting in the vent. This is disgusting, man. This is actually gross. Like, this is the most rancid thing you can do on Nuke is sit in the vent with your knife out to stab someone who tries to vent drop. Now, JW isn't actually doing it the old-fashioned way. He's waiting down at the bottom. But Astralis are literally in the A site. Like, they are walking in. The Dolberat is on Flusher. All right. Looking for a bit more. The Molly burns him out. But actually, we're into a two-on-two. -two. There's a... There's a chance that Fnatic are able to get away with something cheap. Oh, no. It's almost the kill onto Device. But that nade is going to seal Golden's fate. There it is, Astralis. They get off to that three and one start. And now we got the investment ready to come through for Fnatic. Homie! You know, Glaive does the old, haha, I'll molly it, but I won't hold it. As he mollies the back vent, Flush comes out wide with the jewelies. Maybe he was expecting a teammate to cover him, but Glaive just gets shot in the back from that. And it's still fine for Astralis, but things like that are how the round can fall apart. A full stack on that A site and nothing working out, or at least not the round. They get some good damage. Fnatic buying into the fifth. And even then, this first buy is pretty weak, right? They got the AWP, but the utility is a miss and no kits. Golden wants to avoid any AWP in the door, but Astralis delayed with theirs. Going fast outside behind the smoke. It's going to be Magis dropping down. Two more to be found, but they're fighting red instead. Glaive inside a lobby with S-Tag. And with the AWP in hell, Device might just go right past it. Oh, he gets drawn away by Krims. Golden gets the kill, but Dupree follows up. Now the AWP comes to life for JW, and it rotates back into the A site. Magis may be lower, but Flusher has already found himself in this position. Astralis taking ramp to go B. Ramp is free, and so as a result, they should be ready for Flusher in this lower site. I just want to quote a tweet here that I'm seeing for the first time in 21 minutes. S. Astralis versus the Stabby Swedes. Man, who ever thought of that one? A flash of pan of brilliance, that's for sure. Yeah. What a what a clever guy. I could just tell by the, the wordplay there that that's a, that's a smart dude. But they call him Big Pun. Big Pun, my dear. Magisk, he's down here in the vent trying to be a big problem for Fnatic to deal with. Grims is rapping. Broman's going to try and tiptoe down, and he meets his maker, Magisk. They're holding the line. Glaive can be supported as well on a whim, so Crims landed that dink. It's a nice little shot to find. JW slowly in through ramp. There's so much time ticked off this bomb. This is just going to have to be a save, so Astralis up 4-1. to one. And that there, that was a 3-on-4. But yeah. they end up winning out with three players still surviving at the end of it. Now, uh -oh. JW hidden in the corner that nobody checks. And nobody's checked it again. But now they know he's here. And they do remove him. They get the AWP out of his hands. And they bring it with them into round number six. Nice try. But uh, maybe he switched into the AWP after that. USP kill could have been the way out for him. Estag was plenty of health. So, yeah, but this is uh, that kill there from Estag, right? Astralis ready for the B player. It's It's... A bit of a go-to, right? Your ramp player drops. They knew JW was hell and heaven with the AWP after he kills Dupree. And yeah, there is a, some he's, sort of boot camp going on. Yeah, he's sitting next to somebody. Somebody's high-fiving, fist-bumping. Maybe even tub-thumping. We don't know. That's cool, though. We see, you know, even like Na'Vi have like a split boot camp. You know, Simple and Electronic went home. And the rest of them were still together with Blade. So, you know, depends on your, your team. Really. Oh, dear. Oh. Man. Oh, no. Not the rifle. Now, they get knocked down, but they ain't getting back up again, Thank right? Thank you. Device, he actually rails Flusher in through the wall. And now... Oh, the flash kill! 
Oh, it's time kill Crims with a flash. That was that, right? They're knifing on the Fnatic side. Astralis are killing with utility. We knew they were good with it, but you're not meant to kill with the flashes, S Tag. Oh, there's a nade to round it all out. And Astralis, five on the board. Surely. This is, this is a weird, like, so yeah. we got knives on one side, and then we got non lethal utility finding kills on the 99 other. 99 damage. We have to smoke onto Crims. Yeah, we, we have to see it. it. There 90, has to be a replay. Yeah, we, After he kills on. JW pushing door, he does 99 damage through the smoke onto Crims. And then I guess just. Throws a flash. I'm upset, door. man. I can't believe Jakey missed that. Honestly, I'm just. Yeah. Gonna... We all expected it. it. Everyone, everyone that. knew it was coming. Why weren't we watching the hashtag <laughs> flash? <laughs> oh dear. Five Hopefully. one. This is this is a dominant start. But Fnatic a buy back in, and they're gonna look to put a stop to it. Fast smoke out the door, but the Molly goes past it. It doesn't extinguish the glaive. Bit of a precarious position, and yeah, he couldn't get out alive. Brolin spots a man in the heart, but a quick reload coming through. Dupree runs away with a bomb, but Flush is already flanked. Grab Golden's dead at B, and Majesty's down as well. They need the bomb back. Flusher won't give it away for free. And Device, with a quick shot back to the tech, doesn't want to fire too many bullets. Flusher's going to come through, but he can and he will. Dropping another, and that's the only player who had the bomb under his control. The rest are in lower. This is falling apart for Astralis. Well, it was a two on four. Now a 1v3 for S Tag. He does still have a smoke to finish someone off with if needed, but it's going to be the nade <laughs> down in him as he gets up the top of the ladder. Yeah. And it's quite the fall from grace for S Tag there. Fnatic in with their second. And now this is heating up a little bit. And that's good, man. I didn't want, you know, I love this new Astralis. I think a lot of us do, but I didn't want them to come in today and just like churn it out immediately on Nuke, set us up for a quick game. I wanted something close. I want to see Fnatic looking vintage, looking good. And yeah, the fact that they're already trying to get this back on track is a good showing thus far. Yeah, when they did play at Cologne, it'll be a different roster for Astralis with Bubski debuting. Uh, Astralis 16-5 them on Nuke. The train map went to overtime. So keep that in mind. Dominant history, but not one the Fnatic are looking to repeat. Oh, Golden, he just gets away with the skin of his teeth. Device can go lower, but up in heaven is Brolin with the scope, sees above the smoke. They really want to trifle any more outside. There's four here for Fnatic if you count the Heaven player as well. So Strava's finally ducked down lower. Actually, it's patrolling. Flush has done the same. Again, like this same rotation for Fnatic. Golden's at least going to take up ramp, but it's as S Tag's already gotten out. Golden needs to be very careful as he walks into the crossfire. Strava's now going B, but they know Flusher is here. Oh dear, oh, the Molotov on. forces him to take the fight. And while he does get one, that is it. Magis now looking over here towards Secret, gets into the vent. JW going to Molotov off the stairwell, but Magis still in with the P, goes back for Brolin, Ooh. back in with another, but JW will trade. And it's all kept even, Dupree and S-Tag. Left up in this one in the 2v2. One player wrapping decom, one trying to hit window, and both players up high for Astralis. Trying to rise above it all, and down goes Crims on the first. JW followed up onto as well, and it's a great start from S-Tag here. Six on the board for Astralis. I will say, S-Tag, like, I think for a lot of people, he was like someone you got really excited about the moment it was announced that he was joining Astralis, right? The fact that we had to wait, everyone was like, man, that sucks. But my word, was it worth the wait? Yeah. Like he has been the highest rated player on Astralis since joining. It's absolutely unreal that like you could bring someone into this squad who were for the longest time, the best team in the world. And then he manages to be better than all of them. Yeah, they've it, really they've really turned into him into a star. He's the top four rated player in the Pro League right now, only below Config, Blame, and Simple. A lot of Danes there. Yeah. Not the normal Danes that we name. We do know that Danes are pretty damn good at Counter-Strike. Complexity. Very, very unfair, yeah, by it's the not way. Fair, yeah. You, you, you know, your country doesn't have many people in it, and it feels like half of them are like really good at CS. Yeah. And the other half. I don't know, man. Work harder. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe you'll get on Astralis one day. This roster seems to be building and building by the second. Six to two. S tag, quite the start. 13 kills to his name, and we're only nine rounds deep. And the fact that Astralis Molly Flusher off of that silo as well. Like, what a what a grimy way to get the B opener as well. Flusher dropping B has been expected every time for Astralis, especially when they get the ramp lurk kill on Golden or JW rate, uh, rotating.
Sneaky, sneaky Danes down towards the lower bomb site. S tag again, lurking lobby. Astralis with all the control in the world. Fnatic don't know. They've gone from these four-man outside setups to now just a main cross player and someone at the back of Garage hoping that Astralis wrap main or try and take hell. So Fnatic, they can guess, but they don't know that Astralis have nearly everyone down in the B-bomb site. At any point, Astralis could open the door and plant the bomb, and that's eventually what's going to happen. Question is, how soon will those rotates come through? Will Fnatic get impatient, try and take position? Astralis now throwing grenades, making it very clear where they are. Flush has smoked and mollied off, can't do a thing. S-Tag waiting as long as he can inside of the lobby. More waves of utility for Astralis, burning everything out. As Flush awaits patiently on the ramp room, it's a five on five retake for Fnatic. I say that, no kit in this rifle round for Fnatic. Dear, oh dear. Is it, are they even going to go for it? Is it a unicorn round? Where everyone stays alive? It might be. Fnatic want the kill, right? Like they want something given away. They're looking for a luck and they're hoping Astralis have someone hanging around. But yeah, at this point it's done. They don't get any kill that will tempt them into that B bomb site. Oh my goodness. Is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? It might just. The unicorn round in honor of Henry G. And here it is, seven on the board for Astralis, and all ten still alive. Don't see that every day. And also, Hugo, Hi. what do you think's got a bigger population? Denmark or London? Uh, well, London, definitely, right? Yeah, London yeah. does. Yeah. Almost double. And that's just one city. That's just one city. It's and the UK, mate, like... Yeah. Yo, England. Oh, no, mate, wait till tomorrow. Yeah, that's true. Wait that's till tomorrow. True. So, I don't maybe. Know. England is my favorite city. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, England is, is a pretty good one, man. Like, you go there, they got some great pubs. It's all. Something about, like, English. chips and French fries and stuff. Oh, anyway. oh that's smart like, for yeah. Fnatic. Yeah, Molly down the vent to start the round. Not in the Ow. door where it's going to get smoked, but in lower where S Tech has to commit. And he commits to his death. Sinking with the ship. But. Astralis, going back outside anyway. Smoke's being lined up from the spawn. AW coming up from B. And he's about to get this info ahead of time. Ooh, Ooh. Molly missing. That doesn't happen normally when Astralis are in the server. So JW knows he's lucky, knows he is that wonder child to be allowed to go peeking over the top. Silence across the map right now as Astralis stack up back here in the lobby. But JW, he saw that Molotov as like a, a greeting card, you know, like inviting him in. And so he is he is aggressed all the way through outside. He knows that it's not an outside play. And so right now there are a lot of bodies for Fnatic ready to be thrown at this upper site if needed. And boy, will they be needed. There's the wrap from Magis. JW now arriving. And he's dropped the bomb. It's into a three on two. They know that JW's here. Device gonna drop Ooh. down the vent and he leaves matches to fend for himself. He said, you know what, man? The old saying, leave every man behind. And that's what he's done. Molotov into the site, gonna force Device out into the open. Given a second chance at life, but Flusher cuts it short. Magis now oh, left dear. in the clutch. Lots of damage done. A spamming to deny this peak. And he feigns the reposition. Bomb is planted for him. There's a lot of players keeping an eye on this. They close the door onto Magist. He's spraying, but he can't get them off the bomb. So Fnatic will get a parting gift off to Golden at least, but it's still another round for the Swedes. Yeah, that's a nice try for Device, right? Like dropping lower and planting. It's the best they can make in a bad situation. But that round is, is won somewhat by JW getting that info outside. The, the rare missed Molotov for Astralis lets him see that those outside smokes, it's all a fake. And Astralis are going back to upper. Fnatic are so ready for it. And they trade to a point where Astralis just have to go desperation into that B bomb site. Oh, that's a duck. Yeah, sure. I, I worked that out as well. Last map. Took me some time, though. Wow, guys, we've done a lot between us today. Yeah. Don't hire us to be your private eyes. We'll do it in the public instead. Yes. But also not at the same time, unfortunately. We're going to see Dupree aggress all the way around to CT Blue. Takes a shot on the golden towards spawn and lands it. Beautiful shot. Is that a purposeful smoke for Astralis that lands like just a, on the window ledge so you can't get these little gaps? Or is that JW getting cheeky with it? He's looking for one. 
It is an Astralis smoke, but yeah, usually you find gaps there. JW waits for the fade and he finds two, dropping the bomb and backing up, giving Astralis that respect at least. They have the yard, but Fnatic have the man advantage. What a weird round this has played out to be. S-Tag about to have a friend in Flusha. But Flusha playing close, Smoke with an AWP, as we all suspected he might in this game. <laughs> it's not really going to pan out for him there. S-Tag best him with the AK. So now we have an even number fight, even almost an HP on Dupree and JW. 40 seconds left on the clock. Bomb not planted. Back now just recovered from Dupree. JW holding a tight, close angle here in hell with Crims playing above. This is about to get really scary. Dupree, the first to fall. That's going to prompt a lot of movement around the map. Yeah, despite s -Tag getting the ramp pick, it didn't seem like the, the player in hell, I think it was JW, was ready for that wrap round. So he gets caught after Crims gets a kill up. Uh, Brolin's already B. They can't afford to plant for him. He could drop the bomb and win the round. The cover's there, and it's a safe plant for Device. s -Tag. Oh, close shots can't convert. Device in the clutch. One on two. He's got the AWP, and he's going to aggress towards the door. Remember, bomb not planted for here, so he can't hang around forever. Well, Fnatic could stick that defuse. This time they have kits. So all the more reason to hang around. Brolin coming back in late. Device is patient, and he should have this shot. He does. Now the one-on-one. -on -one. Crims from the window, giving away his position. Device, does he reposition, or does he hang around? Now he's realized he's not upper. He's on the bomb. Already sticky. It's a fake, though. Device is running in, and he doesn't know. Going for the quick shot. Crims wins the fight. And Fnatic, just enough time for the defuse, and a free orb at their feet. They find four. And you wonder about the repositioning there, and you think, okay, Device, could you have, should you have, what'd you have? You've gotten out of the decon door and perhaps taken that fight in a different angle, but just a weird round all the way around. Yeah, there's going to be so much like, ah, uh, JW did turn around, but it was just a little too late. S-Tag already got deep. Yeah, there's just going to be so much familiarity, so many mind games in a game like this. You know, uh, Flusher said coming into the game that like, oh yeah, you know, you know, preparing for an Astralis without Glaive is actually harder than preparing for an Astralis with Glaive. But you have to keep in mind, it's not just Glaive calling the shots here for Astralis. Majisk taking over a lot of the duties there. So harder than ever to know what Astralis are going to do. Flush are orping more and more down nowadays over JW. Can be map dependent, but uh, we are seeing that for Fnatic. Probably won't come through on the second map, that being Inferno, one that JW does enjoy. But for now, he's going outside. Oh, but bested by Magis to open up the round. Magis trying to run the gauntlet, somehow got on by. Dupree does not get so lucky, however. Glaive almost offering up that kill to Flusher, but he's still alive. The flash is good. Uh, Glaive, I don't know how he's still going. I don't know how he's been given this room. And there it is. Flusher will promptly take it away. Now, this bomb is dropped outside. And you're going to note a little keen problem here in that Magisk, on 10 points of health, is all the way down at B. And so that means both these players are very, very alone. But Fnatic, they don't seem too aware that someone has gotten down. You know, like they get a lot of kills outside. They haven't heard anything to give away that there could be someone down lower. S-Tag, that's impressive to be ready for Golden, but he wasn't ready for Crims. And so Magisk finally arriving for B and now Fnatic are considering it, right? They haven't seen him in quite some time. And so Brolin will get the better of him. Fnatic arriving at five and thriving as well as it's started to come up in their favor in these last couple. Yeah, they've had a lot of solutions to this outside control that Astralis always go back to on T-side nuke, right? Whether that being putting, putting a lot of players there or JW coming in from lower and confirming the fakes. Fnatic have had some nice setups, but still losing the half currently. Astralis, back to the smokes. All too familiar. Moving behind red quick. Golden hasn't seen a thing yet. JW 
again on the right. We got flush at Orping Ramp still. Dupree above main. Gordon's got one as he peeks out from the credit card and he will get away. Dupree can't trade. And so Astralis down B, but there's no question about it. Fnatic already know and they've sent JW in tow to deal with it. Molly in the vent just to buy more time on those rotations, but Fnatic are not making any risky moves just yet. Crims is looking at the vent. Still aware of the lobby, that of which does contain a man. That man is S Tag. The orbs here as well. Bomb can be allowed. JW's in the site. Magic doesn't realize he's going to wait. Oh, dear. Does Magic clear this? Is he ready? No. JW could be the thorn in the side of Astralis. They have no idea. And with every second that goes on, this position gets better. JW finally gives up the, the mantle. Glaive close on ramp. Going to push the orb. And he does find Flusher. Not ready for the second, though. Golden swiveling and getting the kill. S Tag coming in vent <laughs> behind Crims. He could stab him right back. Yeah, neither of the two remaining players are in the site. This is, oh, S Tag seen Crims. Oh. Has beat him in the head to head. This is a very weird round. Dupree needs to save the day. He needs to get it all back under control. And that's what he's done. He wow. peels the attention away, allows S Tag to double up. And Astralis, they do put eight on the board. Everyone's swap positions. Fnatic are going, guys, we clear B. They're not in secret. They're only B. <laughs> Where are they? And they're still on the A site. Meanwhile, Astralis are going, guys, we've cleared B. Where are they? No, you haven't. They're still dark. This is a crazy game right now. They're everywhere. Yeah, they're sneaking. They're, they're in your floorboards. They're in your walls. Where else? You go. You don't want to know, them. Trace. You don't want to know. They've been there since the beginning. That's for damn sure. Every moment. For S Tag, he's got several moments so far in this half. The first half between these two teams, mind you. S Tag almost up to 20. He really has found his new groove. Not quite the Emperor, <laughs> but he is running the show right now for Astralis. <gasps> JW wants to get hypnotizing with this Deagle, but he's just turning around between two. He could have had a free kill onto Magis, but instead, Astralis patented back outside late in the round. They catch him moving. Golden's got to patch this wound. He's moved towards the garage. The bomb is crossing. Molly down, cuts off the positions that Fnatic can be in. That smoke gives Golden at least the room to get out, but he's getting abused, bombarded by the utility. Flash keeps him blind, and Astralis gets so much control. Look at the rap coming in for Glade. Golden buys time with one Dupree, mollying out Crims. Getting the kill after his departure from the round, and Astralis is man up. There's that rap from Glaive, and it's all on Flusher. Oh, Deagle does get one, but that is it. S Tag, once again, so alert, so aware. 19 on the board for S Tag. He's looking so damn good right now. Three of his teammates have 19 kills between them. So he is absolutely blowing us away. And blowing Fnatic away to his to his credit. So that we got Dupree and S Tag, just two guys hanging out, having a good time. That's cool. Nothing wrong with that. Astralis, they tend to agree. Nine to five, a dominant T side. And S Tag down the vent as well. The low economy for Fnatic, limited utility to stop this. Fnatic want the lobby push. They want to get in the face of Astralis. And they might just do that. Glaive is waiting for it. So patient inside. Ooh, he spots the legs. Will JW go back for more? Bit of a tag off the Deeg. Flusher coming in while the attention is diverted, and he's got a backstab to Glaive. Not with the knife, but the CZ will do instead. Dupree continuing the spray. Crims is pushed in, and that smoke might fade. Not to the favor of Dupree. With the bomb, needs to get out alive. How has he done so much damage? Through the smoke, golden, great shot. The Deeg's a fanatic, can come up top trumps. Brolin's grabbed himself an AK and got an out of the lobby. Astralis at all yard, and B. Oh, Deagle. Oh, dear. Dropping Dupree. Magisk will get the trade, but wrapping outside. Remember when Crims almost died to the smoke spray? Yeah, I don't either, because he's just found <laughs> Magisk, leaving it all on S Tag in a 1v3. Now, as we've said, this guy is head and shoulders above the rest of the squad right now, but this is asking a hell of a lot of him. He knows that Crims is out by red. The other two for Fnatic are actually down on B, so Crims is all alone here. S Tag not sticking around to find that out. Drops down towards B. Flusher holding from the vents. Roman has left and is now outside. So Flusher's now the guy who's alone at this B side of the map. 
That frees up a chance at the plant, but Brolin should get this all locked in, and indeed he will. It's six on the board for Fnatic at the end of the first half of play. That CT side slowly but surely grind into a start, and Astralis holding on to that lead, now move into the CT half of Nuke. You're going to have to join us in just a moment, because this first half, it's over and done with, but this Scandinavian showdown is continuing in just a moment. up around here, but that does not mean that you should be dabbing. No, sir. No way. Not today. It's going to be Astralis and Fnatic going toe-to-toe -to -toe on Nuke, and we are ready to jump back in the action. Harry, Hugo, and myself. Well, you know what the routine is. You know what the deal is. And so far, things are looking all right for Astralis, who are getting flashbang kills and sometimes dancing on the back of that. And here we're ready to jump into a pistol round with Hugo Byron of Brighton Beach. Yes, indeed. Back to the action, back to the A site, and back to old familiar ways for Dupree. Him and Device quick tapping back Fnatic, and this round is already done by the looks of things. It's just golden in the door, and Fnatic try and full push into A. They get denied, they get delayed, and it's the USPs that come out on top, a radiating display for Astralis here on Nuke. Go radiating noise almost. 
Yeah, it's like... It really electrifies the soul as soon as it happens. Yeah, it's like dropping the headset off a cliff or something. <laughs> Just throwing your headset across the room and then yoinking it back by the wire. Maybe uh, Fnatic ever, might do that, you know? Who would ever do that? I don't know, man. I mean, who would eat it, you know, like a vegan wrap? I guess you would, so... Anyway, F in the chat for Harry. And everyone else can cat jam away. Here we go. The squeaky Whoa. push is going to get answered stiffly by Majin. In a very, very fast round, all things considered. Astralis doing what we thought they would do, considering the, well, the stack of weapons stockpiled. And the Glock pile that fries out the door. Brolin hits the surf on main. Stylish, but nothing comes behind it. Uh, Magis mows down three. Well, it's like I always say, Hugo. As long as you look cool doing it, then you're probably cool. Yeah, dude, that's all that matters, right? Yeah. Sure. What's your excuse, Harry? <laughs> I try and look cool doing it, man. Yeah, and that's all you can do, man. Oh, the oh, triple man. nade. That's brutal. Nothing like the blind nade kill device. Couldn't even see him. Doesn't matter. Doesn't make a damn difference. It's got the angle down. Also, Glaive is so lucky to have just made it across there. JW was jiggle peeking the red angle as opposed to checking for someone crossing a secret. That damn wrangle. Exactly, man. Sucks for Brolin as well. It's like, he's, he's all happy. Man, I finally get to play around on the T side. Oh, no, wait. I had to three nades, didn't I? You remember who you're playing against there? Flash a Glaive not going with it, though. That might only sell the fact that there's no one here, guys. Don't worry about it. We don't have secret. Molly down for Astralis, buying more time. Glaive about to get the drop. There's so many players coming. The bomb as well. This could be the round of the palm of his hand. And he's dropped two already. The bomb flying towards him. Flush the late to the party. And Glaive just biding his time. No rush. He's got grenades. May as well get the full value, the full usage out of it. Get smoked off by his teammate. And no, Fnatic, you can't have the bomb back. It's ours. Above main is JW. Tap on the scout and a D down for Device. He does do it in the end. Just Flusher stuck in the yard. And Astralis, they're not scared. They're just peeking him with the flashbangs all going out wide. And that's the round done and dusted. Yeah, and even, you know, dropping that Molotov on the backside of red, that's enough right there to put a pin in the round or nail or whatever you want to put in there. It's like dropping your mouse, I guess. No one saw that one coming. Fnatic definitely didn't see Glaive. And that's the one kill they got in the round. At least it was pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Not much is pretty for Fnatic right now, right? Losing the pistol, uh, now the hole being dug deeper. 12-6 for Astralis, a broken buy for the Swedes. They're going to try the bench drop, though. It worked so well last time, they've gone back to it. Uh, well. <laughs> In tarnation. Oh, dear. Flusher. Get him out. How's he going to pull this one off, then? This will be the best 1v5 ace we've ever seen. This is it. It's just the sheer amount of, you know, just firepower. And you, you can't, you got to take that into consideration, especially whenever you're trying to flood the squeaky door. We're talking about fire superiority at that point. And it's well in the hands of Astralis. 13 to 6. They don't look to slow down. Neither do we. If right. there was like one team that are going to use utility to stop a squeaky rush, it's Astralis. And they're going to be doing that every round, you know? And then they all just start spamming it. Like there's four players spamming at the door. Like how do you even survive that? You the don't. answer is, yeah, you don't. And uh, for Fnatic, that little trick of the trade really is not giving over the results they were hoping for. They've decided maybe, uh -oh. maybe we try it again. But uh, this time, Device is going to try and beat them to the uh -oh. joke. And there he is. Takes down Crims. Outside control now for Fnatic, but it's being contested. This is over. Glaive lining up the God Flash. Oh. Magic skin with a double. And my, oh my. It might have been a nice recovery from Fnatic at the end of that first half, but this is looking like an Astralis that's looking to go flawless here on their CT side. The doctors can't even prescribe what's or, or diagnose what's wrong for Fnatic. How are they supposed to recover from this beating? One on four. I'll describe it. Yeah? Problematic. That's uh, one word to do it, Trace. But it's not anywhere near going to get Fnatic out of this hole. Nope. But I can tell you about another hole. If you want to hear about it. Not sure I do, but go ahead. Okay. Cloud9 taking on Team Liquid over on the B stream. Not sure where your brain was, but mine definitely wasn't wrapped around the idea that Cloud9 are up 14 to 7 currently over Team Liquid on Dust2. Mind you, their map pick, they'll go to Inferno. 
like any good series I does. Mean, you know, Cloud Nine, one major liquid, liquid zero, zero. Oh. So, yeah, as we all know, you don't sleep on Cloud Nine. It's just not not what not what he's done. And Liquid, maybe woken up on the wrong side of bed. I don't think you can wake up on the wrong side of bed if Moses is there. <laughs> is that a, uh, a statement from experience, Trace? I don't know what you're talking about. It's because he kicks you onto the floor. <laughs> so you don't wake up on any side of the bed. Yeah. Well, right now, Astralis, they might have an early night if they have their way. 14 to 6, and Fnatic forcing. It's all they can muster. Galil's AKs, not much grenades behind it. He ops out on device. The first round, he got it. He pushed hot. That just shows where Astralis are right now. They're not waiting around in the yard, passive positions. No, they're pushing the boat out. They're getting in the face of Fnatic. And great utility so far. These CT flashes outside, blinding flush for on top of Silo last round. Mm. Not much Fnatic can even do about it. You can see how delayed they are to even getting to, to the blue boxes outside because, you know, we've seen some grenades in the past. And we will see some more in the future. But for now, it's Frusher keeping up the pressure on ramp. S-Tag on the other side. Smoke's late for Fnatic. They only have three. But that's just enough. And so in they go. They're going to try and get across behind them. They do have JW creeping close to me. And Flusher dealing with Dupree in this upper site. Now... Is that going to put a seed of doubt in Device's mind? He's still down towards B. Certainly doesn't look like it. He's still holding secret. There's three bodies on the other side. Device flashed off the angle, but he's still looking for a fight. Puts up one, but that is his journey. Cut to a pretty abrupt end. However, the rest of Astralis, they will answer the call. Crims and Brolin left in a two on three, but they're not looking for a plant. Instead, they're pushing S Tag at ramp. He's already got a bad feeling about this. He's repositioned. And has he really just torn this attempt at a ramp duel apart? Like, how's Damn. he even done that? He's so smart, dude. You could see his like his brain whirring when yeah. he was on ramp. He was about to move, and he's like, actually, I'll just wait one more second. He stops, flusher peeks him, gets the kill immediately reads the fact that they're pushing him on B. They haven't planted, but they've got the site. What's going on? And yeah, it's great to see him on the T side as well, how much freedom Astralis give him, whether he's taking it away or they're allowing him to do so. You always see him lurking out ramp with great timings, wrapping hell, getting into lower, just being a nuisance. And obviously he's a guy who's always vent diving for this team as well. So yeah, just keeping up his strong performance inside of this roster. Top rated player for the team right now. And no doubt about it, Glaive, Dodging shots, jumping over them, nades outside. Mm. Roland's a bit scarred, he's a bit scared, and he's going to back off from there. Yeah, speaking of scarred and scared, well, this was Astralis' pick. So we'll go to Inferno after this, after they've decided, they've decided they've had enough of Nuke and they're tired of playing it. They'll win the round that's required. And then we'll go on into Inferno. Train should we need it as a third. It does feel like an inevitability at this point. Fnatic yet to field a T-side round. It's synchronous. It's simplicity. Bit of a ramp crunch for Fnatic. S-Tag. This is a one and done spot. Surely no more than a couple. I would never say that about S-Tag, man. There's one. Not done yet. In with two. And then finally laid to rest. Device on the rotate. Flashed out. And so ramp room does get taken by Fnatic, but at uh. quite the cost. Nowhere to go, nowhere to hide. It's down to the B site for Fnatic. And Astralis, they haven't rotated anyone down. Dupree takes the vent, and so he will be here just in time. They can't plant for him. He's been loud about his rotation. Crims, legs sticking out. Dupree oh. doesn't see it. Golden's above him as well. Can be wall banged out, and Crims is going to shut the door. Little finger in the face of Dupree, but he's only buying time for his team coming through on the ramp side. Crims waiting for the swing, hoping it swings in if he stands close enough. Golden caught by the orb, and all the door goes everywhere, both directions at once. Crims find a kill, but they're just going to run him down. Of course they are. It's Astralis on their map pick, 16 to 6. What a dominant showing, what a dominant start. But we do have Inferno around the corner. Good map for Fnatic, and hopefully one they can show us on, because right now,